good morning today we are going to discuss about uh, angina pectoris the topics we are discussing here are definition types pathophysiology clinical features diagnosis and management okay this is uh, uh, of mbbs uh, year 1 standard and uh, it can be learned by the all uh, biology students also okay so coming to the definition angina pectoris is chest pain or discomfort due to myocardial ischemia okay it is nothing but the chest pain okay angina means chest pain or any discomfort it is why due to myocardial ischemia ischemia means lack of oxygen or blood supply to the myocardium that is called myocardial ischemia okay due to this myocardial ischemia we feel pain in the muscle of the heart that is felt as a chest pain okay and it is called angina pectoris it occurs when oxygen demand exceeds supply when it occurs when the oxygen demands exceeds supply see we know heart is supplied by the coronary arteries for its own uh, oxygen okay whenever workload of the heart increases during a exercise or while running or due to any sympathetic uh, over activity what will happen the heart rate increases when the heart rate increases the coronary blood flow also should be increased to supply sufficient oxygen to the muscle sclerature of the heart to pump the blood whenever there is no sufficient blood supply in the coronary arteries to the heart there will be a the development of this angina pain that is called angina pectoris understand most people who have chronic angina pectoris feel pain when they exercise or when they experience emotions that increase metabolism of the heart or temporarily constrict the coronary vessels because of sympathetic vasoconstrictor nerve signals okay here in most people uh, they say that um, when i walk for a uh, 300 meters or above 500 meters uh, i am getting chest pain but when they walk 100 or 200 meters they won't get uh, chest pain why because uh, uh, their coronary arteries are little bit uh, blocked by atherosclerosis uh, or what will happen when they walk more than the more than uh, that demand i mean supply of the heart uh, what will happen there is a increase in sympathetic activity there is increase in heart rate so whenever there is an increase in heart rate right the coronary artery need to supply more blood but due to sympathetic activity what will happen there will be constriction of coronary arteries there will be temporary constriction of coronary arteries okay due to that they will get chest pain understand so this is temporary but when they take rest immediately the sympathetic activity will come down and the the spasm coronary arteries will dilate and blood supply to the coronary artery will be restored okay this is in this occurs in chronic ischemic people that is called as chronic angina pectoris what is it called they have chronic angina pectoris okay and uh, angina pain is also exacerbated by cold temperatures or by having a full stomach uh, both of us increase the workload of the heart the pain usually lasts for a few minutes sometimes uh, we feel uh, when we eat uh, full stomach uh, we feel uh, some kind of uh, uh, discomfort in the chest this also occurs due to increase in metabolism of the heart uh, okay increase in metabolism of the heart uh, which cannot be uh, coped by demand okay and supply understand but uh, this is only for a few minutes okay right however some patients have such severe and lasting ischemia that the pain is present all the time the pain is pre- frequently described as hot uh, pressing uh, and constricting and is uh, such quality that is uh, usually makes the patient uh, stop all uh, unnecessary things see here what happens we are describing the how the pain uh, characters how the pain uh, is felt by the patient how it is felt it is uh, like hot uh, pressing and constricting uh, okay it is a uh, hot pressing and constricting understand right and what are the causes if we look at the causes of uh, angina pectoris uh, the most uh, important and common cause is uh, coronary artery disease 
so what is the coronary artery you know the heart is separated with the coronary arteries okay so any disease affecting the coronary artery like uh, atherosclerosis uh, or any uh, vascular disorder uh, okay it will cause uh, this angina pectoris another one is atherosclerosis i have already mentioned again this atherosclerosis affects the coronary artery and the coronary artery spasm uh, we have uh, uh, i have explained you just know why coronary artery spasm will occur uh, it occurs due to increase in sympathetic activities okay and hypertension increase in hypertension also what will happen there will be resistance for the heart to pump blood into the aorta okay so to uh, gain uh, over this resistance uh, heart needs to contract more so when heart uh, works uh, uh, heavily to uh, to go against the resistance developed in the vasculature uh, again uh, the musculature will need uh, so much of oxygen uh, okay so at the time also when the demand uh, is not uh, uh, met with the supply again the uh, angina will occur understand again severe anemia when there is no very sufficient amount of blood uh, again uh, the coronary artery cannot supply required oxygen to the muscle of the heart understand okay so these are the important cause coronary artery disease atherosclerosis coronary artery spasm hypertension and severe anemia so when we talk about the types of angina the most common is stable angina what is stable angina it is predictable occurs on exertion we know i have already discussed it that uh, when a person uh, walks more than 300 uh, meters or 500 meters then he will develop angina again if he sits uh, okay he will uh, uh, feel comfortable the angina will vanish this is called stable angina he knows uh, uh, it is it is predictable only occurs on exertion and another one is unstable angina sudden may occur at rest this unstable angina is very dangerous it occurs suddenly may occur even at rest while at sleep also understand and variant or printimetal angina it is nothing but coronary artery spasm it occurs due to spasm of the coronary arteries and macrovascular angina affects a small coronary arteries this is any inflammation affecting the microvasculature of uh, blood vessels okay this called uh, uh, may also affects a small coronary arteries that is called as microvascular angina and uh, if we, the simple pathophysiology is uh, when the narrow coronary arteries what will happen there will be decrease in blood flow in the coronary arteries and supply to the musculature which leads to decrease uh, or no uh, supply of oxygen to the muscle this leads to necrosis of the muscle that is called uh, myocardial ischemia it is called as myocardial ischemia what is it narrowed coronary arteries uh, it can be either due to any of these four uh, stable or unstable variant or microvascular leads to decrease in blood flow decrease in blood flow leads to uh, decrease in o2 supply or uh, no supply of oxygen and there is no oxygen supply the muscle will undergo necrosis uh, during the necrosis uh, it develops a pain uh, and it is called a myocardial ischemia understand right and another one is anaerobic metabolism uh, in anaerobic metabolism what will happen uh, when oxygen is not uh, properly uh, available lactic acid uh, lactic acidosis will form uh, and it also leads to chest pain okay so what are the clinical features you can see the most important clinical feature is chest pain it is like uh, we get a I feel like a pressure or a heaviness or squeezing like uh, which may radiate to the left arm uh, jaw and also to the neck of the left side and the left side of the face also why it is radiating to the left arm jaw and neck means because uh, during development of the heart uh, we know heart is developed from uh, neck uh, left hand and uh, uh, in the from the from there it radiates down to the chest so there is a now connection uh, with uh, from the heart to the left arm and also neck and also left side of the face okay that's why the pain also radiates uh, from the center of the chest uh, to the left arm jaw and also neck to left side and uh, it is triggered by exertion uh, see whenever we whenever anyone gets uh, chest pain uh, they should not run to the hospital i mean they should go to the hospital but they should not run i mean the 
the patient who is uh, having chest pain should be relaxed and should be laid down uh, and taken to the hospital and he himself should not uh, drive any vehicle or he should not uh, go to the hospital by running what happens uh, when he exer when he exer when he when he when he himself uh, get uh, uh, tired out by running uh, again the heart cannot uh, okay uh, cannot uh, get much oxygen and uh, the ischemia will aggravate uh, and finally the large portion of the muscle of the heart will be damaged uh, which is irreversible okay ultimately patient may die at that time understand right and uh, some other clinical features uh, the patient says is uh, dyspnea i mean breathlessness uh, nausea feeling of vomiting and uh, sweating uh, cold sweats uh, really sweating on the forehead uh, most important thing okay so clinical features is a chest pain radiates to left arm your neck triggered by exertion relieved by rest or nitroglycerin the most important drug which we give for any uh, cardiac pain uh, chest pain is nitroglycerin another one is uh, dyspnea nausea and sweating so how we diagnose uh, the most common and uh, uh, available diagnosis is ecg in uh, for example in stable angina we see st depression what we see st depression treadmill test uh, echocardiogram coronary angiography and a troponin uh, normal in angina understand what is the ecg and a treadmill echocardiogram coronary angiography graphy and a troponin test it is troponin test uh, also we can do to know all the uh, any uh, uh, protein uh, right troponin protein uh, which is uh, leaked into the uh, can be detected okay these are the uh, four uh, five important tests uh, that uh, in any cardiologist will perform to detect the angina management uh, uh, immediate management is nitroglycerin sublingual long term uh, beta blockers uh, beta blockers how they function they decrease the rate of the heart uh, and decrease the metabolism of the heart uh, and workload of the heart okay calcium channel blockers uh, these calcium channel blockers uh, will dilate the coronary arteries uh, for uh, more blood uh, to flow in the coronary arteries and aspirin as you know it is anti platelet uh, like uh, prevents of uh, clotting of the blood in the coronary arteries and statin is uh, when the atherosclerotic plaque is formed uh, the statins will try to remove and the lifestyle modifications uh, like uh, walking brisk walking exercise uh, and uh, diet management uh, these are the very important uh, things such so, coming to surgical interventions uh, angioplasty and stenting uh, and uh, coronary artery bypass grafting cabg coronary artery bypass understand what are the complications uh, this angina will lead to myocardial infraction sometimes uh, and uh, it can lead to arrhythmia and cardiac arrest uh, and in chronic uh, it will leads to heart failure sometimes sudden cardiac death uh, understand that uh, see uh, say sometimes uh, in, uh, in malls or uh, somewhere uh, suddenly patient will fall down uh, that occurs due to sudden cardiac arrest uh, leads to sudden cardiac death uh, understand so these are the complications uh, important complications myocardial infraction arrhythmia heart failure sudden cardiac death understand so here some of the mcqs uh, which can be asked in the uh, various exams uh, most common cause of angina pectoris myocarditis cad pericarditis cardiomyopathy the answer is cad coronary artery disease angina at rest uh, caused by spasm what is this type of angina angina at rest caused by spasm what is it called it is an unstable angina what is it unstable angina which occurs suddenly even at rest drug for immediate relief uh, is aspirin beta blocker nitroglycerin statins what is sublingual nitroglycerin answer is sublingual nitroglycerin ecg in stable angina is st depression what is the mark uh, in ecg in stable angina st depression okay so these are the four important bits we need to learn okay okay thank you for giving this opportunity okay and summary is angina i got list image types we have stable and stable variant 
diagnosis ccg tm angiography treatment medications lifestyle and surgery understand thank you